Hi, this is Sundar from Vision Academy. Today I am going to teach you introduction to assignment problem. In the series of lecturing, this is the first lecture on assignment problem. In the further lecturing, I will cover assignment problem by Hungarian method, maximization type of assignment problem, minimization type of assignment problem, balanced and unbalanced assignment problem, troubling salesman problem, scheduling problem and restriction on assignment problem. Please stay tuned for further videos. Most of the problems in operation research can be solved by simplex method, but it is complex and cumbersome. So we need to go for specialization. It means that uh, based on the activity uh, in uh, the industry is facing that we need to tackle in the, way, in the specialized method. So those things are transportation problem and assignment problem. Assignment problem may be considered as a special type of transportation problem in which the, in the transportation problem we have seen that number of sources and destinations are equal. But here the uh, number of sources and uh, destinations means capacity and requirement those things will be equal so the in the case of assignment problem the given matrix must be necessarily be a square matrix it means the capacity of each sources as well as the requirement of each destination is taken as one please do remember remember this the capacity of each sources and as well as the requirement of each destination is taken as one and it is called as a square matrix so uh, uh, the capacity that may be abc also the requirement that must be abc when the capacity is abc requirement is also must be abc that is the concept in the assignment problem that the square matrix it means the assignment problem must be necessarily be the square matrix. I will tell you how it works in the uh, uh, further problems in the solve while solving further problem and assignment problem is a special type of linear programming problem. Uh, in this objective is to is to minimize the cost or time of completing a number of jobs by a person. So it means assignment problem is allocation type. So allocation of jobs to person is very very important things here. So while allocating the job, the manager must consider all possible uh, fitfalls and all and uh, he must assign the, in the best way that one person can uh, complete a job by uh, in, the, in the less time, uh, less time of span. So that thing works in assignment problem. As I said you already, the assignment problem uh, deals with allocating allocation type of problem same transportation problem and assignment problem is allocating the type of problem but in the case of assignment problem we allocate various sources resources it means items or jobs whatever to various activities uh, to the receivers on one to one basis one to one basis means one person has to do one job only not uh, two or more job that is the concept here all uh, assignment the assignment means assignment given to one person one job must be given to one person that's the number of operators are to be assigned to the equal number of operators so equal number one in mean one, one one to one basis each operator performs only one job only so one job one person who has to perform one job this is a basic concept in assignment problem the assignment problem in general form can be stated the given n facility given n facilities and n jobs and the effectiveness of each facility for each job the problems is to be assigned each facility to one and only one job in such a way that measure measure of effectiveness is optimized so the pro when you assign one to one basis that measurement must be effectiveness so that's a very very basic concept in assignment problem let us look into the example. Uh, suppose an accounts officer has four subordinate, subordinates and four tasks. So as we know, the subordinates differ in efficiency and take 
different time to perform each task now what manager has to do is if one task is to be assigned to one person in a such a way that the total person has is minimized so one person must be assigned one job in such a way that the total hours taken by the subordinate must be minimized so this type of problem is called assignment problem so assignment must be one to one basis it means one job to one person and the uh, that allocation must be sf effective effective so that the time taken by the subordinate person handling the task must be minimized one more example we have a tourist car operator has four cars four cars in each of the four cities in the in four cities a tourist car operator has four cars and four customers in different cities so he is having four customer in different cities that is so now what has to be done is using the assignment problem the distance between different cities is also given the main objective is to assign each car to one and only one customer in such a way that the total distance covered is minimized so he has to assign one person to one uh, one customer one car in the the main objective is to assign each car to one one only person uh, so it means in such a way that the total distance covered by the uh, journey must be minimized so this is what we do in assignment problem so we have two types of assignment problem one is balanced assignment problem and one more is unbalanced assignment problem this is same thing uh, which we see seen in the transportation problem let us see what is balanced transportation problem so balanced transportation problem is an uh, a balanced assignment problem is a assignment problem where the number of facilities is equal to number of jobs so number of facility must be equal to number of jobs so this is a case of balanced uh, assignment problem in the transportation problem number of destination and uh, capacity must have to be equal to be balanced transportation problem here number of facilities equal to the number of jobs it means so uh, look at here the example for balanced transportation problem this is task a b c d four tasks are there and operators 1 2 3 4 so this is a balanced transport assignment problem it means four operators are there four tasks are there one task must be assigned to one person and one another task must be assigned to another person so it means as i said you already so the square matrix as i said you it means square matrix means number of tasks must be equal to number of operators number of jobs must be equal to number of person example here look at here this is a squared matrix example for a squared matrix problem in that assignment problem the problem must necessarily be squared matrix as i said you already so example a b c d we have four tasks and operators four a 1 2 3 4 so it is a squared matrix it means uh tasks and operators are equal it means row and column are equaling it is not a case of transportation problem in the transportation problem row column does not does not matter but the uh, the capacity requirement must have to be balanced so here rows and column must be equal that is a cost squared matrix let us look into the another type of assignment problem that's unbalanced uh, assignment problem exactly it is opposite to balanced uh, assignment problem so wherein number of rows is not equal to the number of columns is said to be an unbalanced assignment problem look at here jobs are 4 1 2 3 4 and machines are a b c d e the machines are 5 so in assignment basic concept is to assign one job to one person so it means one one job must be assigned to one machine so here we have four jobs and we have four or five machines it means it is a unbalanced assignment problem so to make a balanced one so we will use by introducing dummy rows or dummy columns here we need to introduce dummy rows or dummy column to make it balanced and uh, all the elements such as dummy row and column elements these things must be zero so this is a type of assignment problem so this is example for unbalanced assignment problem it is not in a case of square matrix 
So it is in a case of square matrix. It means operators and tasks are equal. It is jobs, uh, jobs and machines are not equal. It is not in a square matrix. So in the assignment problem, the problem must be necessarily at square matrix. As I said you already, assignment problem can be solved by simplex method also, also by transportation problem. So, but however, we use another method known as Hungarian method. So by Hungarian method, we solve assignment problem. There is no basic feasible solution here. There is no optimi optimal solution here. Only one method we have, that is Hungarian method. I said you, we can also solve this by transportation problem, but this is a special type of transportation problem. What? Assignment problem is a, a special type of a transportation problem. So what is assignment? The, that Hungarian method is a shorter, easier compared to any other method of finding the optimal solution of transportation problem. Compared to optimal solution, uh, transportation problem, optimal solution, that Hungarian method is very shorter and easier uh, in all extent. In the Hungarian method, we take a problem and the problem we go on giving some uh, treatment that's row reduction, column reduction, uh, uh, what uh, uh, rounding up of the zeros and striking out zeros and many things we do. So it means the principle in Hungarian method is that if a constant is added to every element uh, of a row or column whatever to cast matrix, the optimum solution of resulting assignment problem is the same as the original problem. It means we will give some treatment to know what is the best allocation, best best assignment type. Later, the pro the, in the, the original prop in the original problem only we will get result that you know come to later that you know come to later while we are solving the assignment problem. This is a basic principle in assignment problem. So Hungarian method is very important in assignment problem. We have only one method to solve. So in the next series of lecturing, we will solve the problem by Hungarian method.